Welcome to the City by the Bay. It's time to see what's happening on the flip side. Hey, thanks for hanging on the flip side. I'm your host, Aubrey Aquino, and we're on my home turf, the Bay Area, California. This is where I grew up. There's a lot of great action on the flip side today. Wide receiver Javon Walker shows us the business of shopping at Nephi. Then DJ Irie gives us the play-by-play -play on Shaq's Miami B-Day Bash. Plus, Jamario Moon flips the script. And these ladies are turning up the heat on MTV with their fly kick. John Madden became a Super Bowl champ just across the bay with the Oakland Raiders. But now it's his video game that has players trying to hit all the right buttons. See which NFL star takes the 2009 Madden Bowl title on the flip side. Hey, we are at the 15th annual EA Sports Madden Bowl, and you know what? To some, it's just fun and games, but for the guys inside, they take it pretty seriously, and there's one thing they can all agree on, they all want to win. Let's go inside and check it out. <laughs> I might want to run the ball and make him use some of his timeout so I can just hurry up and get up out of here with a win. That's all I'm trying to do right now. Uh, I, I don't play the Xbox 360. I play the PlayStation. It's just a little different with the buttons. The remote is a little bigger, so I'm just adapting to all of that. I won, but you know, just in case I lose, I'm just preparing yourself right now. It's a great event. The uh, EA Sports uh, Madden Bowl is big every year. We got a, 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 a former champ in the house, Alex Smith. You know, I have two championships, so it was just time to let somebody else win. I think people get tired of seeing me, you know, holding that trophy all the time. Is there a certain team you play? Do you play yourself? Of course. I like to play with myself. That doesn't sound right, but... Uh, <laughs> Xbox or PlayStation? Doesn't matter. Just play Madden. That's all. Last year's champion, and apparently he just finished painting, Willis McGahey. Big you know, I've been on the winning side of that, of that receiving that trophy, but you know, it's, 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 it's a lot better just watching that, watching them guys play right now. Are you much of a gamer? Do you have an Xbox or a PlayStation? My kids have that. They better, so that's the reason why I don't play because they better than me in the game. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. It's over. Madden Bowl 09 winner Antonio Bryant. Congratulations. Give it up. So did you have a strategy going into this, or you just knew you were going to take it, or what? No, I just, I said I wasn't going to play unless I was playing to win. Willis McGay, he's from my hometown, Miami. He won it. Alex Smith's on my team. He won it. So I felt like I should have been a part of that ring. It feels real good. Now I'm going to enjoy myself. Antonio Bryant, everybody, give it up for the champion of Madden 09. Congratulations. Give it up, Javon Walker is an Oakland Raider with a sense of style. On the flip side, he's made fashionable threads his business at Mefi in Scottsdale, Arizona. So Javon, tell me where we at. We're at our store called Mefi, Scottsdale, Arizona, which is um, your urban skater slash try to keep up to date with new trends. Clothing. Explain to me the meat by name. Long story short, we would all attend fraternity and sorority parties. And going to these fraternity and sorority parties, my friends, they don't they don't have to uh, need people to egg them on to have fun or to dance or to get up or be themselves. And so we wind up being the life of the party. <laughs> and they would come up to us and ask us, you know, what fraternity are you in? And, you know, first couple times we were like, we're not in a fraternity, it's just us. So finally, one of our other friends who was a part of our group, joking around, he said, me five was really me by me. What kind of stuff do you guys sell here? Is it just for the fellas? You got some stuff no, for it is. It is uh, it's for the men, men's and women's, which we wanted to do because uh, obviously women do a lot of shopping. Right. And, um, you know, we carry... Some guys like to shop too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything about these brands, they all have a message. They, always got, they all got a story behind them. Uh, we got Kid Robot for women's, Married to the Mob, mm -hmm. um, Hell's Bells. Obviously, we got Jewelry, which is a Cubani Lynx, which is very, very popular mm -hmm. amongst a lot of celebrities, a lot of singers, actresses. Talking about this stuff is kind of like I envision it all in my head, but it, it's more that we want. But obviously, you know, the way me and my partner are, we want to move fast, but we know sometimes we got to take a step back. What makes MeFi special or unique, especially here in Scottsdale? Is there any other store like this? You know what, I think what makes it special is based off of our, our attitudes, you know. Uh, we, don't, we don't try to like 
figure out what's happening to fit it. You know, it's kind of like we, we do what we want to do based off of that's what our emotions and our feelings are at that moment. You know, who knows? You know, now ideas are starting to come to us to where all we can do is listen. It's the Big Diesel's birthday. Shout out to my brother Shaquille O'Neal, uh, one of Miami's favorite sons. Even though he's not from Miami, he's still one of our favorite sons because he's done something for us that we can never forget. You know, he's done a lot for our community. And of course, the Big Diesel delivered us our very first championship. You know what I mean? Give us all reason to rejoice and be proud of our city. So uh, for that, we can never ever forget him and never not give him his just due love. His plane landed a little while ago. And uh, him, his wife, the whole family's coming out, by the way. He's going to do what he does. You know, he's going to do his, his shakawaki. Jamario Moon's road to the NBA has been anything but traditional. Please welcome from Goodwater, Alabama, number 36, Jamario Moon. The CBA, the USBL, Mexico, and yes, two years with the Harlem Globetrotters. Moon has done it all. The Globetrotters saw me, I think, when I was in a summer league with the Lakers. They, they called me and they, they asked me if I, if I would, you know, come and uh, do, do a couple shows with them. While ball tricks weren't his specialty, it should come as no surprise what was. Joe Mario Moon. You know, I was pretty much a dunker, but you know, at the same time, you know, being around the guys that were doing all the tricks, I wanted to learn the same thing, like spinning the ball on my finger, you know, around my neck, bouncing it off my back, you know, doing a, doing a back pass. Uh, it, just, it was a ton of stuff, ton of fun things, man, that a lot of kids would love to do. And in keeping with his humble roots, Moon recently reunited with basketball's most renowned showman and it was almost as if he never left. Like everything just came back to me, you know, it felt like like it was my little brother and my daddy. Like, like I hadn't seen him in a while. You know, and it just, it, it actually made, made chills come over my body. <laughs> the time with the glow trials, I think that, that, that helped me grow, you know, I, it, it helped me learn how to deal with people. Now a starter with the playoff bound heat, Moon's globe trotting days may be well behind him, but the memories of that winding road to the NBA are never far out of his mind. I appreciate everything, you know, just because of what the, the route I took to get here. You know, you, you, you can't take anything for granted because like I said, I played on some teams where I, wouldn't even, I, I didn't even get paid. You know, it seemed like I was just playing for fun. So, you know, to be here and to, to start, you, you can't ask for anything more than that, man.